Hello again, my name is Kathleen West and today I will be discussing the Restaurant Reviews Project, a final project for my Udacity Mobile Web Specialist course, Nano Degree Program. Um, in this video we will specifically be demonstrating and discussing the functional requirements for offline use. I will only be talking about this requirement in this video. Please reference other YouTube videos for the other criteria demonstrations. So I'm going to talk about offline use and how my application works in offline and meets the requirements. The requirement is that my client application needs to work offline. JSON responses, JavaScript object notation are cached using the IndexedDB API. That's just like a storage mechanism for data. Any data previously ass assessed <laughs> while connected needs to be reachable while offline. So if users visit my web application and they come back and their internet's off, they should be able to see some something up there with, with the last known data that they had. Um, user is able to add a review to a restaurant while offline and the review is sent to the server when connectivity is reestablished. So I'll demonstrate that use. Previously I demonstrated the add review function and I'll demonstrate it again, but in offline mode. So with further ado, um, let's go and take a look at the application. So the important thing is um, to know for offline capability to work, a user actually has to visit the website at least once including the um, any other um, dependent web pages. For example, say they visited my web application and they like the Emily Pizza Place, they're gonna go to the pizza place while in offline, I'm sorry, online mode and take a look at the page. So what's happening behind the scenes is a bunch of data on the main page and on subsequent other pages like reviews are being um, cached in both uh, the cache, the, the images are being cached and the JSON data is being cached for, for, for the reviews and for the, the list of restaurants and data such as like their hours of operation, um, that's being cached. So I'm going to show you that right now in online mode. So if I go control shift I, which is a shortcut to get to Google developer tools, we're going to want to go to the application and you can see in this menu, we see um, a cache storage with um, a bunch of things like images, scripts, um, JavaScripts, um, uh, HTML, and other things as well. And then in the index DB, primarily stores, it only stores the JSON response. So this would be the JSON data is what you get from the, if you were to call the RESTful server, which is the, the data server that serves data for my web application, you would do a, uh, RESTful API call and you would get JSON data back like for example here are the reviews from the server. The server stores reviews, processes reviews and it responds back with this data um, in JSON mode and then my JavaScripts process that data and convert it into things like uh, the reviews down here and the same to go with JSON data for restaurants you get data for hours and address and category of cuisine. So if you look at the index DB, you can see um, some of the information that is um, stored and sent by the server um, for the database. And these are just the restaurants. And if I go to reviews, you can see what the reviews look like. And that kind of matches with, oh, we have to go to Emily's, the second one. 
Oh wait, these are the, the reviews. <laughs> um, so it kind of matches the review data that you would get by a restaurant. Um, but we're not talking about RESTful servers today. We're, we're talking about offline capability and IndexedDB. So IndexedDB is basically a good way to um, limit your network uh, flow, the cache, the cache data, and to have it be offline first. So the whole architecture theme of web applications now is offline capability first. So once the user visits, visits the website once, everything should be plugged in IndexedDB. And if the user um, needs to fetch any new data, like on a second visit or the website's updated, it'll come back here and, and store whatever's new in the IndexedDB as well. I just want to mention, I, um, these are three different database stores um, in the script, in my, in my design. So it's one, um, one main database store, and then we've got three separate substores here, pending, restaurants, and reviews. And the pending is going to hold any pending reviews that the user enters when offline. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So I think I talked about, okay, JSON responses are cached using the IndexedDB API. So I approved that in my application um, here as well. The next requirement is any data previously accessed while connected is reachable while offline. Okay, so the way we test that is we go in Google Chrome Tools Network Offline. Or I could just go unplug my router. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. So as you can see, I'm now in offline mode. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And so this mimics the situation where the user has lost their internet. So I'm going to go back to the website. Oh, and what do you know? The data is still here. So we're not fetching this live from the internet. We're not fetching any of these images, nor the, 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 the data, the JSON data that it needs, because this is based off JSON data for each restaurant, including the image um, location, but the images are cached, separate, separate store for images. Um, so we're offline and, and this is an offline capable first, so none of this data is getting fetched from the internet. It is coming from the browser cache, including the index DB, index DB, and the regular cache. So I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the Emily restaurant and you can see the information is, is showing up. Now I'm going to run an experiment where we go back home and I'm going to show you, I have not been to this burger place yet and I don't think I've been here since I've hard refreshed it. What's going to happen? Uh-oh, the data wasn't cached. So, technically it was a requirement to cache everything. The problem with that is if you try to uh, cache the entire website when a user first, you know, arrives, it's going to slow down their entire user experience. So, Basically, the web application only caches what the user has visited and cared about, you know. Um, I don't know, it's kind of like a gray area. We, we weren't required to, like, um, cache other, like, data for other restaurants that we, or uh, pages that we, the user has not visited yet. Um, so, anyways... Let's go back to Emily, and the requirement was 
um, any data previously accessed, note the word previously accessed, while connected is reachable while offline, and that is true. Okay, next one is user is able to add a review to a restaurant while offline, and the review is sent to the server when the connectivity is reestablished. Okay, so I've already demonstrated adding a review in online mode, so we're still in offline mode, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna say, give it a five star review. This was the best pizza place. <laughs> I have ever been to. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it. So what it does is it actually submits it to a pending store. And if wait, we can go back. To developer tools. Oh, I somehow came back online. Okay, I think that invalidates my test. So I'm going to have to do this again. I apologize. I do not know how I came back online. Um, I think maybe when it refreshed the page. That is a bug that Google needs to look into because this should stick. This flag should stick. Okay. Well, I think what happened was when I submitted the review, I was offline. Mm, that is so weird. All right, we're going to do it again. <laughs> we're going to do it one more time just so that we could be totally sure. And I'm going to um, refresh the page so you know it, it's still cached. So I'm going to check my flag again. Okay. It says offline still. I'm, I'm watching you. I'm watching you this time. Let's add, and I'll explain why this, why this added here. It's just basically... <laughs> Um, index DB loading from index DB cache as a temporary thing and you'll see that too in a second um, Kathleen West second time here was a blast and I'll give it five stars I'm watching the flag so what it's supposed to do is, is refresh the actual page and it's still in offline mode, good. Um, so the script refreshes the actual page that the user is on so it can reset the view of this add review button. It makes it collapsed. And then what it does is it updates the uh, index DB and the review section with the current and temporary reviews. Here. And then um, so they can see their review in offline and or online mode. So let's go to the uh, application and here we go. Try to update it, maybe stay. Okay, well, let's refresh it. Okay, so we have two reviews that are in pending mode. And I'm going to go ahead and show you on the actual RESTful server. I don't believe this, it, this particular page is in offline mode. I think the developer tools are on a per tab basis. So as you can see, there's no, no personalized reviews here yet. Everything that I've done in offline mode is in pending, in the pending index DB uh, specific store. So 
my JavaScript basically has uh, an event listener that will that has already been added after a user clicks on you know add review and this event listener will trigger when I um, turn the internet back on or or when the user goes back into online mode it actively listens for that event so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to demonstrate what's gonna happen and then it triggered um, the um, the data send off and it said it processed pending offline review requests so let's go back data may be stale let's refresh that there are no more pending reviews in my index DB so it processed the data and it deleted it from the pending because this is pending is only for offline reviews case so let's go look at the actual server did it send it to the server when it came back online I'll go ahead and refresh it this is the actual server and I'm doing a fresh call oh there we go both of both reviews showed up so when when this browser page came back online the event trigger a call to send that data, the pending review JSON object to the server, the RESTful server, which is a separate application. It could be a remote server in real life. It wouldn't make a difference as long as it had a, a location and the right um, endpoint um, call. And it sent, sent this object data immediately when I came back online. Now, if we were to refresh the page, what I should have done is shown you in the actual reviews, but one of the um, the tricks I do to make it show up on this page is I not only add it to the pending, but I also add it to IndexedDB as well. So I add any new reviews to the uh, to the index DB so it shows up immediately regardless if the user is online or offline and that that was a requirement so we have satisfied the user is able to add a review to a restaurant while offline and the review is sent to the server when connectivity is reestablished so you've seen that um, the client application does work in offline mode and I've shown you the index DB capabilities and back uh, storage of the application um, I, I will discuss uh, some of the other functional requirements and performance uh, results in other videos